the interviewer it is Christian Wright. Today is September 22nd, 2020, and we're at the Camden Carroll Library at Morehead State University. If you could please introduce yourself. I am Jaden Atkins. I'm from Owensville, Kentucky. I am a freshman here. Cool. And uh, what's your major? I am a music education major with emphasis on instrumental music. And uh, when did you first hear about the coronavirus, and what did you think about it? It was back in March. We, I was actually coming back from a uh, music competition in uh, Pikeville. I, uh, I was honestly a little afraid because I know how things spread, especially when they're new. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just wanted to make sure that my little sister would be okay because she's she was very at risk. And uh, you said you were a freshman. Were you in high school last year, or yes. did you take a gap year? Cool. How was uh, being in high school when all this went on? It was it was slow before everything shut down, and then it was just like we got everything pulled out from underneath us because we already weren't doing much. We were relaxed. Things were actually kind of going all right, and then we couldn't see anyone. And um, did your school shut down and transferred online? Yes. Or how uh, did that affect school and seeing your it, friends? It made it really difficult. Um, me, I actually have a lot of separation anxiety, and it just threw me in for a loop because I was actually starting to kind of figure out where I was in my school's like, sort of social ladder. And um, how does uh, being in high school for that portion of COVID and being here kind of compare to each other? In high school, it was a lot more scattered, but as time went on, it seems like we've found some sort of foundation to rebuild. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it when we do end up opening back up, whenever that may be. And uh, when the pandemic first kind of started taking off in the U.S. around last March. Uh, how was daily life then? It was a lot of struggle because I have uh, four siblings, all of which are younger than me. So I had to help take care of them, help them with their work. Also doing my work, I was in two dual credit classes, and that was just, that was more stress than it needed to be. I can imagine. Um, have they gone back to in-person school, or are they online? No, they're, they're staying online. And uh, how's that adjustment been for them? Uh, they're kind of more used to it now than whenever we first started, because they're, they're all, two of them are elementary school kids, and the other one is a um, sophomore this year, and then the other one's just a little baby. <laughs> and um, what's daily life kind of like now compared to earlier in the year? I feel like I have a little bit more free time, if that makes sense, because I have my online classes that I can catch up with. Like, if I miss it, it's not going to be too bad because it's recorded and the information is sent to me. Um, I have a little bit more leniency and ability to make stuff up and then instead of being worried about all my grades and being late, it gives me a little chance to breathe. And uh, how do you feel COVID has um, impacted your how you felt college is going to be? It's... I had no idea in the first place. Definitely been a ride. Um, has the pandemic changed how you use technology at all? I already used it a lot, but now I'm just using it more. <laughs> and, uh, from coming into this being your first year of school, how do you feel about the rules and guidance that Moorhead's passed down? I think if people stick to them, things will get better quicker. Like, across the nation and stuff, I, I personally believe that people should be listening to the scientists. They should be social distancing, wearing masks. My family, they don't share the same sentiments, but such is life. Um, what do you feel about the rules from state government and federal government? 
I know there's been some confliction between what we've been told. I, me personally, I socialize better online, so I wasn't too bothered by being told to stay in, but I had work this past summer. I worked for McDonald's for six months, part of which was during March when everything kind of shut down. But McDonald's did stay open, and we, it was, uh, it was crazy. <laughs> Then uh, how how'd that affect working at McDonald's? I know you guys yeah. started using a lot of disposable gloves and stuff, yeah, and we, probably shut down the interior. Uh, we we shut down our lobby and we went to a drive-through only. The store that I worked at is still drive-through only. Um, they're they do not plan on opening back up the lobby until everything is able to be used. All the facilities are available just for public safety. Um, we are using masks. We have a hourly hand washing timer. Um, we sanitize everything. I don't know how much has changed since I left, but. And, um, how do you feel about how transparent the university's been with its information regarding COVID? I feel like we should know a little more about cases and stuff, where, when, how? <laughs> um, even though confidentiality is important, it, feel, it feels like people that are close to them should know. Um, how has COVID affected you personally? It's put a lot of stress on me. Like I said, I, I like to um, socialize more online than in person. But then again, there's, there's there's a difference in talking to someone face to face and talking to someone online. It's, and then I used to play a lot of D and D with my high school's gaming club, and I just couldn't anymore because everything shut down and I never got to finish camping. Mm. So hopefully you can do that once COVID's over. And um, actually, there's a store in town. That uh, for good. stuff like that. I don't know if that's open or not. Yeah, it's open. I actually um, actually bought some books. From it. it's, it's um, nice. do they have any special rules or anything right now? Uh, they're they have shortened hours. That you have to have a mask at all times. Um, social distance. Uh, I think it's like. I think you can't like eat and drink and stuff in there. You have to like take it outside. But yeah, I'm, I'm only really going in there this year because I'm not from this area, but it's a nice store. I like it. Is uh, there anything you'd like to talk about or add? No. All right. Thank you for your time.